Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 40 to 43 in section 3 of the Purple Booklet. This is a question about lenses, and we're given some information uh, that's included in this diagram. The other thing we're told is that the converging lens has a focal length of 6 centimeters, and we're given the lens equation as well. Question 40 asks, in which direction will the ray of light from the coin emerge after passing through the lens? So the image formed by a uh, converging lens will be inverted, uh, meaning that the ray of light from the top of the coin would end up on the bottom of the screen. So we're going to have a look at which ray of light um, may cause this. Because it's a converging lens, the rays of light will converge to a point. Um, and we're going to have a look now at the path of light um, that will be formed by each of these different trajectories. So we can see that for one, two and three, it doesn't cross the principal axis or the origin as I've got it written down here. You might see either term, but for path four, it does in fact cross the principal axis and produce an inverted image, which you would expect with a converging lens. And therefore the answer for number 40 is going to be D. Number 41 asks, what is the distance of the screen from the lens? Well, we know the lens equation, which is one over U plus one over V equals 1 over f. And we're given a lot of the examples, um, all, all the numbers we need. So we know that u is going to be the distance between the object and the lens. So that's 18 centimeters, which are given here. The distance between the screen and the lens, the screen is where the image is formed. We're given that information in the question. We know that this is going to be v. And we're given the focal length, which is 6 centimeters. So let's plug in our numbers and see what we get. We get 1 over 18 plus 1 over v equals 1 over 6. 1 over 6 could also be written as 3 over 18, which makes it a little easier because we can do 3 over 18 minus 1 over 18 as 1 over v. Therefore, 2 Therefore, two over 18 is 1 over v, and v equals 9 centimetres. In this case, that would tell us that 41 is answer A. Okay, so 42 were asked about the orientation and size of the image formed on the screen relative to the coin. So we know with a converging lens, the answer is going to be uh, that we get an inverted image, or in this case, an opposite image. That's what they've said here. Um, orientation wise, it's going to be opposite. So we know the answer for 42 couldn't be A and it couldn't be B. So between C and D, we need to decide if the size is going to be greater or smaller. So we can tell from our diagram that we've drawn here that the distance between the top of the coin and the principal origin um, or the principal axis is going to be smaller on the screen than it is in real life. And therefore, the size of the image is going to be smaller too, which means for question 42, the answer we get is D. And then we've got question 43. We've been given a fairly confusing diagram uh, about a diverging lens. And it asks, in which direction will ray Y emerge from the lens? Okay, so I think it's important to just quickly go over how a diverging lens works and how you can decide uh, in which direction the ray of light might emerge. So let's say we've got a diverging lens here, and this is a symbol for a diverging lens. It's a little different to what they've drawn, but this is the shorthand. This is a diverging lens, and say we've got our principal axis here. If a ray of light bounces on here, it will be refracted off like this and the rays will diverge. But if you follow this line backwards, the point at which this meets the principal axis is the focal point of the, length of the lens and the distance between these two points is going to be the focal length. So that means that's basically what's happening here with Y. If we have a look at the trajectories of all these points and we trace them back, we just need to find one that lines up with the focal length, then that will be the correct trajectory of the lens, of the light, sorry. So we can see here that line two, trajectory two, um, will pass through if you take it back through the focal length, which means that the answer for 43 has to be B. So that was questions 40 to 43 about a lens in section three of the purple booklet. I hope that helped.
Thanks for watching.